Welcome to the Choose on Purpose podcast, where we live with intention. This is the podcast that fuels your passion and celebrates your journey as a multi-passionate leader. I'm Becky Plotz, your host, here to guide you through actionable insights and empowering conversations designed to help you embrace fear as your best friend, overcome those challenges with ease, and to live more in your purpose. And we're getting into conversations that are talking about innovation spark this month, if you've been tuning into the conversation. So if you're ready to infuse more meaning into your journey and take action toward what really truly matters in where you are in your space, then you're in the right place to grow and if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure that you hit that subscribe button, share this with someone that it, you think this will resonate with and that needs to hear that. And remember that um, I'm here to support you. So let's dive in to the conversation. Uh, this podcast is about embracing your innovation spark. And it's really for those creative breakthroughs. I want to talk about creative breakthroughs. And because September in the work on purpose community is focused on innovation spark as our theme you know we're looking at the 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 igniting of the creativity those fresh ideas in your projects and the pursuits that you choose and this month we're talking and diving deeper in the spark so how to spark innovation and growth and using the acronym today for SPARK as our guide. So here's what SPARK stands for. Support, persistence, action, resilience, and knowledge. Okay, so let's break it down. Have a little conversation. So the S of support in the framework of SPARK right, is really thinking about building a strong foundation by supporting yourself with people and resources that foster your innovation. Now, you may be thinking innovation, and innovation is really the action. I looked up the definition. It's the action or the process of innovating. It's really looking at creating something new or enhancing something that we already have. And if you've been tuning in the podcast, you already know a little bit about that. If you're a part of the community, you know that we keep having these conversations to deepen the understanding for ourselves as individuals to have an impact on the way that we are living on purpose and looking at the way that we are using innovation spark to propel us and move us forward. So looking at building the strong foundations. So the question would be, right? Do you feel like you have a strong foundation where you're surrounded by people and resources that foster innovation in your space? And if you don't feel like you have that strong foundation, then look at the work on purpose with purpose community as an opportunity and a resource to come and start to have that. We have what we call action hours to have accountability and support. We also have level up opportunities where we come together in community and we're sharing our insights, we're sharing our experiences and diving deeper in the conversations and having more momentum built because we're sharing shared resources, right? We're giving insights from each other. And looking at spark as a whole like it's it's igniting something it's a feeling it's really a trace of a specific quality that we're looking for when we're thinking about innovation spark so this conversation moving through that where do you feel like you have a strong foundation of support in your life you know, and where do you want more support in your life to have that built up? So one of the things that I want to do is in invite you to come to our um, 
productivity day. Every month we have a productivity a productivity day challenge. And I'm going to pull up my calendar really quick to just verify the date is September 25th. If you're listening to this um, in a timely fashion, it is 9 a.m. Central until 2 p.m., central as an opportunity to tune into the community as a guest come as a first-time guest you've never been in the community you're looking for more support to build a foundation around and have that surrounding you with people and resources this is a great opportunity to experience the work on purpose community um at a depth and a understanding of the structure that's here to support you um, we also have on the same day that 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. is actually a deeper conversation around the plan on purpose workshop. So talking about innovation, what are the things that we have been doing already that we want to strengthen? This really what comes through in this two-hour workshop, which is a free workshop. You're a guest, come for free. Um, and it's led by Nancy Kelso of Kelso Coaching and Consulting. And she uses her real framework to support us in reflecting, engaging, aligning, and leading the life that we desire. Okay, so um, this is a free opportunity to come into the community, surround yourself with people that are also on this path of knowing more about who they are, knowing more about where they're at, and understanding what work needs to happen in order for us to get there. So the work on Purpose with Purpose community is an opportunity and a resource if you are looking for that. Would love to invite you to come in and experience any of that um, Wednesday, September 25th. The information is in the show notes or below. Check that out. Come get registered. Love to see you there. Let's talk about the P in Spark. Persistence. That's the drive, right? That's that's the drive to keep pushing forward even when obstacles arise and maintaining focus on our creative goals. Like what are we truly wanting? What do we desire? What are we desiring to happen in our life or to have, right? To be, who are we looking to be in our world? What's the drive to keep pushing forward? We have a persistence, right? It's even when we don't feel like it, we're showing up because we know that we've got support. We know that we have resources to get us through those times when we may not feel like it. And this could be considered one of them. The time that I use an acronym in the, in the podcast is a community opportunity to share in conversation on this podcast. I'm currently alone sharing this information with you. There isn't anyone here today, and that could deter me from doing it. In the past, past Becky would have been like, oh, I'll just do something different, and um, that's okay. I'll just change up what I'm going to do for the podcast, where I've already prepared by having an, this acronym ready to go and have this discussion. And even though there isn't someone live to have this discussion, I'm persisting. I'm holding in my persistence because I know that some of you have reached out to tell me how much you love these episodes specifically. These acronyms really support you like they do us. And that's because you're my people. And I want to um, encourage you to reach out, share your insights from this podcast and how this acronym is supporting you, even when I don't have anyone else on the other line to share the feedback and the stories. That's I'm still here showing up. I'm persisting through that uncomfortable feeling of like, oh, this wasn't how I planned it, right? This wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And that's okay. I'm trusting and I'm persisting through it because I know the goal is to be consistent in giving you information and value on this podcast so that you can choose in your life what's serving you and what's not, right? So persistence. Where are you needing to keep persisting in your life, in your goals, where it could slow you down or stop you if you don't think about the way of persistence and how it will 
give you momentum as you're building that consistency with persisting through those uncomfortable obstacles that arise, okay? The A is action. Taking intentional steps toward innovation, toward, you know, building on our ideas, strengthening our ideas, um, you know, no matter how small is really important because it does create that momentum I just mentioned. The consistency it builds, each step, each baby movement, each incremental shift, right, toward what we are focused on innovating, what we're toward, that's the action. That's the process of it. So taking those intentional steps. And I think that it's inspirational action. It's inspiring And then you feel it and you take the action, you do it, which is this podcast right now, as I was giving you that example, right? I was inspired paying attention to creating the outline for this talk with you. And when I realized people couldn't stay today, this time didn't work today in this specific spot and that's okay. The inspired action is I'm already ready. I'm already fired up to share it. I'm going to take inspired action and record it on my own as I would a different um, podcast, right? Even though this one wasn't structured this way. The R is resilience. Bouncing back from those failed attempts, those roadblocks, those things that can deter us. Or in my case, they definitely have in the past. When I started doing the podcast, uh, in 2023, it was like, oh, it's okay. I'll uh, I'll do something different. You know, that's silly. There's no one here yet. I will um, do a different one. The resilience that I've built over the months now that we're in September of 24, almost coming up on a whole year of this podcast being out there, I've managed to keep it consistent, even with um, you know, being a mom of three, a wife, a business owner for two businesses, being a managing director for a global connection company, right? Being a friend, being a podcaster and a speaker, all of these hats. And I'm, I have built my resilience to know that I can bounce back from when I feel like I'm failing, when I feel like things aren't going my way and understand that it requires the navigation through those challenges. Growth is nonlinear, right? It's nonlinear. We need to be able to navigate and maneuver when those challenges come up and know that it trust, right? Trusting the process because even when we have our plans in place and we take the action, we don't always get the result that we want. And focusing on The becoming and the process has really supported me in looking at that resilience piece. So take that with you if that supports you as well. And then the K is knowledge. Continually seeking learning opportunities to fuel your creative ideas and expanding your potential is where it's at. That's the growth mindset. That's knowing that we are lifelong learners. And as a multi-passionate leader, I know that that's how you, that you feel that too, right? We're, we're never finished. We're always growing and continually seeking those things out when we know who we are, when we know the next things that we want to be doing, then the opportunities come to us. Right now, I'm actually in a challenge looking at um, how to make a, a podcast profitable, how to be more intentional with this podcast to support you as the listener and support me as the person giving more value. What does that look like? And I'm in a challenge this whole week to focus on that because I'm I'm seeking out the knowledge to do better, to grow, and to expand my own potential as a podcaster, as a speaker, and a communicator, and someone that is here to give more to impact lives. And so what are you, what are you focusing on with seeking right now? Like, where are you seeking those learning opportunities to fuel those ideas that have been inside of you or the things that are already in motion, right? Remember, innovation can be new, fresh ideas, and it can be the collaboration and connecting the dots of those things that They've been there. 
they're not new ideas, but maybe you're in the place now that you can connect those a lot easier and have more energy to give to those things connecting that it makes sense. It, it, it cyclical, it grows, it cycles, um, just like a lot of things in life. Right. So that's the acronym. That's what I wanted to bring to the table for spark to support persistence, action, resilience, and knowledge. So let's spark that fire together more. Accept the invitation and come in to um, one of our free opportunities this week. Um, also is that we have, well, actually it's this month, sorry. Every month, not week, every month there's different opportunities. And actually I'm going to link um, a new page that I have on my website for you to check out. It's all of the opportunities virtually actually to connect with me and the community uh, and communities that I'm a part of that do these things, right? They hold space for us to be who we are, connect with like-minded people, and really feel those breakthroughs um, as we continue to show up and build strategies to ignite the fire, the flame, the sparks within and uh, make those meaningful steps towards our innovation. So um, make sure that you check out my VIP hangout lounge that I am going to have linked here for you to experience. Um, we have a coffee connect that's at a 6 a.m. Central time um, once a month that you can come to. And all of these opportunities, please come one time to all of them, right? Pick which one is right for you right now. But I encourage you to check out all of them at some point as a guest for free one of those times. So there's a coffee, the Faithfield Coffee Connect. We have a EFT tapping session. We have the Plan on Purpose workshop. That's a two-hour one. We have the Connect with Your Vision workshop that I host once a month. Um, and then we have um, our productivity day challenge that I men mentioned earlier. And um, you're invited to check those out. Um, check it out on the calendar. Tune into this podcast every week, share with a friend and make sure that you subscribe. I'm your host, Becky Plouts. This is the Choose on Purpose podcast and love yourself, live fearlessly and do all things with purpose.